This is certainly one of the most interesting wind tunnels you'll ever see. But take a look inside and it starts to become more familiar. So here we are in the uh, world's first portable wind tunnel. Um, we're in the nozzle right now of the wind tunnel. If you look down this way, uh, there are two 250 horsepower fans. Ford's portable wind tunnel is a creative way to use typical wind tunnel equipment and two cargo containers to take a device that is normally huge and stationary and make it something you can move from factory to factory. How long does it take to put it together? Uh, it took between six and eight hours. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, we were both very impressed that we were able to blow wind the first day we brought it here. So it's a very interesting concept. I'm inside a cargo container turned into a wind tunnel. Now let's see it in action. Okay. How fast is this going? It'll go 80 miles an hour. The vehicle, in this case a Mustang, actually sits outside as the wind blows over it. That smoke is there so we can see that wind, and that wind is very directed. As they're cranking it up, you can feel the wind growing on you. You can feel it blowing, pushing back my hair. Oh, I'm starting to feel my breath taken away a little bit. Now, for my safety, I can only do this at 40 miles per hour. Excuse me, but they do the actual tests at 80. <coughs> Excuse me for getting choked up there. Step away a few feet, and it's relatively quiet. Now the goal is to make it very quiet inside. This dummy measures the sound. No jokes please about there being a second dummy inside. While this wind is going at about 80 miles per hour outside, I feel the vehicle shaking, but inside it's relatively quiet. Most of the actual development work is done in the huge stationary wind tunnel, but there are times that engineers and others need a wind tunnel at a plant to problem solve or look for improvements. We've taken vehicles from the plant back to our uh, big tunnel, but now we've mo moved that capability right here so we can address it more efficiently. Ford's portable wind tunnel will stay in Flat Rock for now. Where it goes next will be based on the need at the time. I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.